collection. The Henry Stickman series is basically some games that were made on browser and people really like the series so the developer decided to make all the games put together into one bundle from the beginning all the way to the current one. I'm not sure how many other games there are but we're gonna have to see what we're gonna find out. Today we're gonna be playing Breaking the Bank and then the next one because I know this first one is very very short. So if you guys did enjoy seeing this Henry Stickman collection game and you want to see more on the channel be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads or content on Kevin's channel. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. If you aren't set yet, be sure to hit that sub button. Don't forget to listen down in the comments below. What other happy true friends characters you want to see play other games in the future? You can also check out Kevin's Twitter at KevinRefox. He'll put that in the description as well as the Discord server. If you want to join the Discord server, you will leave that in the description as well. If you click it, it's going to take you right to it. And without further ado, let's start part one of the Henry Stickman Collection, Breaking the Day. I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to go. So that's Henry right there, the one with brown shoes. Okay, so we got six things to choose from. A shovel, explosives, teleporter, laser, breaking ball, the disguise. I want to Miley Cyrus this. Let's Miley Cyrus into the bank. What? Oh, okay. Well, backing up, backing up. Oh, okay then. There's no construction schedule for today. Well, shit. Guess we ain't gonna go in Miley Cyrus style. Hmm, let's try and sneak in with a shovel, shall we? Oh, the good old Legend of Zelda reference. What? What'd you hit? Gas main? Oh, no, no! Light it. Never dig straight down. That's a lesson in Minecraft. You ever dig straight down in Minecraft, you're gonna run into lava. Let's try teleportation. And there we go. What? How is that possible? It's emergent technology. I'm sure it'll get better. How do we teleport inside the wall? It makes no damn sense. If we were a smart criminal, how would we get inside? Probably not explosives, because that's going to cause a lot of noise. No laser, no light. I think we should try a disguise. Alright. Oh, hey, come back. Eh? How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. It's just further in the back. You ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. That's kind of strange having a bank in the middle of nowhere. We're in! We're secretly in! Oh shit. That sucked. That was it? That was it! No, 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 no. Okay, since we already completed it, I think, let's try and do the other ones. We haven't tried the explosives or the laser. Let's do explosives. Let's blow this shit open. Uh oh. Whoa, that was not supposed to happen. And the wife care. Explosives with dynamite, very, very dangerous. If you mess up with the TNT, and if you hit the trigger at the wrong time, kaboom! Alright, all we got is the laser. Let's see what the laser does. Nice! Oh my god! Well that sucked. I was breaking the bank, so now we can move on to the next one. Escaping the prison. We're just gonna be doing this one and then escaping the prison. That's how long we're gonna make this episode. Episode one, this is after we got arrested. Oh you. You're free to go. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> Not really. But you've got a package. Okay. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful. Haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. Not only lose my job. <laughs> he didn't check it. See you around. Free to go. See, hmm. it's a cake! Yeah, that's not an ordinary right, cake. Wow. Rocket launcher! Hell yeah! I'm ready for this shit. Oh, well then. <laughs> what happened? That's how usually newcomers come to shooter games. Never mess with a rocket launcher, ever. What else we got? A file and RG drink. The classic teleport. Let's see what a teleport can get us this time. Let's see. Oh! We 
just teleported into the middle of a shooting range. You can't just seem to get the hang of that thing, can you? No, we can't. Since we're in a prison, and most people that are in prison or jail use a file. We did see outside of the prison, but I don't think we're that high up. Let's try the window. We're not that high up, are we? Okay, we're much higher than I expected. We're probably on like the fifth floor of the prison? I don't know. Let's try again and go to the door this time. Yeah, that's better. Uh oh, he's still there. Oh! Fuck you! But Oh! Get tased, bitch. Escaping. Wait, what? It said 17. We're on the 17th floor? Wow. Dollar grenades are here. Let's throw some grenades at him. Get out! Yourself. Okay. What the? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That was funny. All right, let's just get in the chair so we can go, let's see, left or right? I want to go left. Oh, hi. Yeah. Fatty. Hey, I'm not fatty. Look at this is stick man. You calling him fat? He's not that fat. Let's try up in the chair again, but we're going right. Yeah, that's a pretty big jump. Okay, we gotta rope the parachute. Wonders. We should just try a normal parachute. Whee! Yeah. That's not a parachute, that's just a backpack! Ow! I think that was just a regular backpack. See what happens when you just assume? Hey, I can't help it. That's Henry's fault, okay? Let's try the rope. Yeah, this is this is gonna go perfect. Oh, uh, it would be helpful if we had a hook. Uh, hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh, we're good. Never mind. We just got hit by the stupid bank truck. Oh, god damn it. I thought that we were good with the rope, but apparently you just threw a curveball at us. Alright, let's try the plungers. Why you do that? Okay, that's more of the safe way to go. Oh, that was easy. Sneaky escapist. Beautiful. And he runs off into the sun. Oh, there's three other endings to this? And there's 18 fails? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to try and do that. See if I can get all the fails here. There's the time ones. What happens if I don't do anything? Ouch. You got the reflexes of a statue. Thanks. Let's try and do the taser one. Bonk. I don't know. What's happening? Step. <laughs> We didn't try the jetpack here, so what's the jetpack gonna give us? Well, that was a dud. What? What the fuck? Where are you going, Henry? Now look, you're back. And back to square one. That was stupid. Let's try a drill. Come on, get that thing going like a motor. Whoa! We're in the restroom. We got an occupacitor and a crowbar. Let's try this device. Occupacitor, you'll walk through walls. Just move the blue slider to the right and you'll become occupant. Not only that, but the more occupant you get, the easier you'll be you would find paths through solid objects. Alright, sounds good. We're just falling straight down. Look at this. Oh, oh we're going for the earth. Now we're just waiting for the mantle of the earth. And we're going down to the outer core. Alright, let's just try to crowbar. Whee! Oh. Hi. Uh, Henry, run! Run! Go down! Go, 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 go! Let's try... Uh, go down! What the? Why did you slip? I think I'm um, brawl thing. I think it's a slip up from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Let's try facing the wall. Whoa! Matrix! Oh, get ready. This is the awful showdown of the wild, wild west in the police station. That's it! Whoa! I clicked as fast as I could. Did he just grab the boy? How is that possible? If that was real, if you wouldn't be able to grab a boy, because it's traveling that fast. <laughs> scaredy cat. What a scaredy cat he is. Hey! 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 
resposta! Hey! 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 Bad ass pasta! Hey! Hey! Alright, let's try these ones again. There's tails here. Why is it I don't do anything? I just get shot. That's fair. Let's try and go up this time. Up! We just run into the villa. Don't worry, I hear prison dentists are great. And not really. They're pretty bad. Alright, so we went down. What happens if we don't do anything? Do we just run into the wall here? As expected. For this one, there's only one fuck up. And if we don't click anything, I'm ready to shoot you, you son of a bitch. You ain't got nothing on me. Come on, you are so close. Fuck you, game. Shut up. There's one more fail here. Energy drink or the cell phone? I want to do the cell phone. Determine knife. District court. Courtroom number four. Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored man, but suddenly he spotted a bag on the side of the road. Got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was something uh -huh. hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant crawled into the- It's Phoenix Wright! Look at that! Is that correct? Is it not obvious? And who's that? Hold on! Is that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Hey, evidence, 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 evidence. You got the attorney's badge, the disguise bag, floor plane's bank, mysterious device, security footage, and doctor's analysis. Let's read through these. Security footage is a night, the intrusion shows the vent leaving, and the sky setting off the alarm. Let's try that. Take that. What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? <laughs> uh, I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Guilty! What kind of third grade lawyer did you hire? The good kind, obviously. Let's try that again. The bag of the defendant he used to sneak into the bank. The knot is tied on the outside of the bag. When we did do it, I think we did tie it on the outside of by ourselves. If we were just a normal average criminal, how would we be stuffed inside of the bag? We gotta think smart. If we were just a normal robber and we were put in the side of this bag, we wouldn't tie this on it ourselves. We were probably put inside the bag where we had someone else do it. Take that! Is is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes. Yeah. But there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then how did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? Yeah! What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then how did he do it? I don't know. It's simple. He didn't. Oh. Oh. What thought are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! Bro! As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to yeah. dispose of the body, of course. Oh. He knew he was in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now. Busted! You guys can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be happening to me! Me! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman, I just love how he just went me. That was funny. Why right, what are you up to now, Hungry? And back to this. Great! Lawyered up! So there is one more little mishap that we need. And that's in here. The only thing we didn't get is the energy drink. Oh, there are little achievements here. I think we should find some of these achievements too. Let's try and do this fail first with the energy drink. What will happen? What? Whoa, what? Hmm. What? What? How is that possible? Oh, I got a donut. Now we're outside. And we had a stroke. Energy 
OMG! Side effects include nausea, headaches, rapid heart rate, and possibilities of stroke and slash or heart attack. So that's what happened. We had a rapid heart rate and we had a stroke. Prisoner log bios? How do we get that? To unlock a bio, right click a character when you see- Ah! So that's what we do. We need to go back to breaking the bank and unlock all the bios. There is a key that we gotta find here. Is there a key anywhere? Key, 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 key. Where's the key? Got it! I guess that was for the car alarm. The disguise? Let's try and do this. Let's right click on the next floor. Eh? How did we lose? There one? we go. Now right click you, right click you. Okay, so here are the bios. Chad Hansen. Fresh out of college. Guardian Bank sounds awesome. Unfortunately, this job happens to be in the middle of nowhere. Why is the bank in the middle of nowhere? That's the biggest question out there. Philly Colin. Philly's been working as a guard at this bank for five years now. He loves the badass look of the uniform. Considering with the glasses and mustache, he's gotta be a badass. Ted McAdams. The driver of the bank truck. He and Winston have been partners for many years. Ted has always been the driver. Why hasn't his partner been the driver? Hmm. But that brings us to Winston Davis, the so-called witness at the courtroom. They always ride shotgun in the bank truck. He prefers looking at the sensory rather than focusing on the road. Alright, let's get these three. Get point, point. Since we got those guys, let's see what we got here. Raptor Price. He's been in the force for nearly eight years. He joined the police academy right out of high school. If that was real life, that'd be tough to do. Right out of high school? And he didn't go to college to do that shit? That's gotta be special. Then we got the shine one. Dave Pan He's new to the forest and needed to do a good job. And after what happened, he probably lost his job. Let's get the rocket launcher and get the janitor. Boom! Gotcha! Who's the janitor? Harold Ronson. He works at the prison janitor, but he also enjoys doing their maintenance work. And also listening to some music. What kind of music? Rock? Pop? Metal? Jazz? Country? What music does he listen to? For this one, there's two guys in the elevator that we gotta get as well. So let's just beat the shit out of these two. And right click the guys coming in the elevator. Got you too. Who are the two guys in the elevator? Charles Burton. He works at Jess's job at the prison. He prefers it over going to the dangerous field. Like going outside and doing all the dirty work. I don't blame him. Surrey Shooter. Legally changes his name to Straight Shooter. He spits a hot fire and raps mad lyrics. Respect. Is that why he's wearing his hot back backwards? I wonder what his original name was. Who oh, no. knows? The one with the drink. Got a lot of guys out there. So let's see if we can try and right click all the guys that are showing up in the energy section. I know there was one in the prison cell next to us. There's one on the front. There we go. We got the prisoner. We got you. Then we got you. Then we got that. And then that was a thing. Ah, what a lovely day outside. Ha! Ah, fresh air. Oh, and heart attack. Let's see what the bios we got. We got four new bios. Blade, Knife Man, Biggie. Serving multiple life sentences for multiple counts of murder. He gave himself the nickname Knife Man. I guess that explains why he's got a freaking shiv in his cell. Kev Portley. He only became cop because he knows cops eat dunce and he loves dunce. You won't catch him doing much police work. If he's just gonna eat dunce the entire time, he's just gonna get fired. Stumped lump. He was beat up a lot as a child because of his name. For obvious reasons. And why is he here working at the police department? Ryan Goldman. Friend mess up. Penitentiary's Employee of the Month. For the month of June, if he's been that good of a cop, he should get a raise. There's like a crap ton of people in the events section. Let's go here to the left. Go! Okay, we have a whole bunch of those bios. Six people. Jen Byrne. One of the administrators of the prison. She keeps running it in decent condition. If it's decent condition, then it's not going to be really good. John Farn. A rookie to the team. This is his first meeting he's ever attended. He's got a lot to learn if he's new. That's why he needs to be getting no more under the ropes if he wants to be a good cop. John Gritz. Just got back from breaking up a fight between two inmates. It didn't go so well. I can tell. Look at his hat and look at the scar on his head. He must have hard time with it. That's a long last name. Sashwadit. Sash? What the fuck? Sashwadit? Sashay? Sashwadin? We'll just call him Sashwin. John Sashwin. He just joined the police force for the action, but they've stuck him behind a desk. That's the only proof he's gonna serve just being behind a desk. If he only cares about the action, he's just gonna go out there batting left and right, left and right, not following the orders. John Barley. Failed out of firearms training three times. Technically not allowed to use his weapon outside of the shooting range. If he's done that bad with the shooting range, he's probably had multiple life targets. Captain Jeffrey Custer. 30 years ago, a janitor threw out his lunch. He's held a grudge against janitors ever since. If he's got a grudge against janitors, he's not gonna like Harold that much. Now, let's go to the one with the bathroom. Boink! Boink, boink, boink. We got more people. There's a couple more. And then we got these guys. What? There's one here? The skeleton? Okay, I gotta get the skeleton one. 
Got him. I don't know why the skeleton counted. That's so dumb. Unknown Hendrix. Always sleeping on the job. Nobody knows his first name. What is it? First name? Not his birth certificate or something? Pete Sam. Notoriously for taking food that isn't his from the employee fridge. I guess that explains why he likes the donuts so much. Sally Q. Sheldon gets confused for someone else, which is strange because she doesn't even have red hair. It's not Jen. She has brown hair. Who has red hair? Eh, who knows? Gary Gray. Consistently put on evidence duty. His least favorite job. I can tell because he's really having a hard time carrying that bag. Fungus Bungus. Net a harsh fake. Many, many, many years ago. Must have been a caveman. Missing two here. Think we have to use a teleporter at that point. Bing bong. Boop. There we go. We got two of these guys. Who are these two? Jonas Nugent. He's been quickly moving up the ranks. Just needs to pass that marksman exam. If he doesn't know how to shoot random people, then he's good. Captain Ronald Canterbury. The man in charge of all officer training at Red Mister. Known to be very strict. If he's that strict, no one's gonna be nice to him. I can guarantee that. Oh, shit. Seriously? There's ones out there? Okay, we gotta go to the prison one. I'll be right back once I get all their bodies. Okay, I'm back. I got all the guys that were in the court section. Let's start with Felix White. I like it's supposed to be Phoenix Wright, but instead it's Felix White. The city's most prominent defense attorney who works hard to ensure innocent people are not put away. And he does a good job. Herbert Brown, one of the city's judges. It's very difficult to tell them apart from the other judges in the city. Why? Because they all look the same? Vladimir Von Braun. Nemesis to Mr. White. He's pretty cocky in his ability to put criminals away. This often becomes his downfall. Pretty much. Back with Winston Davis. He's been disposed due to his involvement in the bank's break-in. Either way, he won't be going back to his old job anytime soon. Good. He sucks at his job. Find a new job, you stupid piece of shit. Chuck Sammons. He works at Sandwich City and enjoys his free sandwich for lunch every day. What kind of sandwich? Sub sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, bologna sandwiches, all the sandwiches in the world? Juno Grumper. He received jury duty 27 times this year. 27 times this year? That is a lot of times. Game Schlodge. Hailing from a foreign country, this is his first time in a big city. In New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Detroit, Orlando, Pittsburgh, St. Louis. Where have been in the big city? Steve Stevens. Grinds away at his office job daily. He dreams of owning a pizza shop. Don't let Chica know. Otherwise, Chica's gonna go insane about that pizza. The only guys that were missing here are the ones in the badass ending. Let's get the crowbar, sir. Ah! Bonk, bonk. Bye bye! You'll never take me alive, Keppers! Well, then I got a new book. Whoopsies, my man. For these three, Ernst Slim. He's been on the force for six years, and yet there are still names that surprise him. Like the one that he just saw with Henry? Or was it with something else? Tom Hardly. He takes the job very seriously. Never seems to take those sunglasses off, because he's a badass. What do you expect? Captain Ed Roberts. The chief of the police here at Red Mesa. He runs a tight ship and expects the best from all his cadets. Then he must be a good police officer. Then he should be upgraded to, like, the FBI or CIA. I'll be good for him. All right, let's move on here. See if we can get every single one of these guys. <laughs> got them all. I got all the bios. Let's see all these guys. Timothy Pug. Family new to the force. Does not handle pressure well, especially when he's trying to fight a criminal. Michael Ben joined the force at the same time as his best friend. He's the clean shaven one. Aren't they all clean shaven? They all look pretty clean shaven. Sean Sean. This is his first day back from a nice vacation. You ruined it. We did not ruin it. This is what we're supposed to do. We're getting out of this damn prison. Matthew Flexer. He joined the force at the same time as his best friend. He has a goatee. Oh, so Michael and Matthew are best friends here. What achievements are we missing here? Uh, we'll figure these out. I think we're just gonna leave it at that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been the Henry Stickman Collection Part 1. We managed to beat breaking the bank and escaping the prison. Maybe next episode we're gonna be going on to stealing the diamond. But I wonder if someone else is gonna be playing that, but I don't know who, and I'm not sure how long stealing the diamond is. If you guys want to see more Henry Stick my collection. Be sure to drop a like on this video and comment down below. What else do you think should play this game next? Other than that, thank you everyone for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads or content on Kevin's channel. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. What are happy to from the characters you want to see player games in the future? You can also check out his Twitter at Cameron Green Fox. He'll put that in the description. As well as that Discord server, he'll put that in the description as well. That's all I gotta say. This is Cuddles, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!